right, let's try again. So I'm going to do that recap again. Um, so paper chains were made with the times tables facts, okay? Start again, so Christmas, uh, Christmas paper chains with the times tables facts. Um, or you could do spellings, um, etc. Tinsel's really itchy. Oh, oh she never like that. Right, let's keep it there. Let's keep in the Christmas spirit. Um, we did snowflakes with Christmas words. Okay. We have done angels with words from the Christmas story. Fabulous. And as I was saying, we did the last jingle bells. Which didn't work and do you know the reason for them not working is because you know I said about keeping the join there that's not enough of a join it needs to join at the top probably as well so we could mm, we could do them a little bit differently but hey ho we'll see um okay okay moving on then I was just talking about um story Christmas story one of my favorites the jolly Christmas postman with Janet and Alan Arberg Obviously Christmas stories, fantastic this time of year, um, but any stories that you've got around, use a storybook to find some words, you know, if you're looking for sounds or words that begin with, or can you find any Christmas words, how many times can you find the word Christmas in a story? And get your child to go through, or your children to go through each page, because what that's doing is it's encouraging them to read. Um, and also looking for those sight words, isn't it? So words that we should just know how to spell and um, that we can't use our phonics for sounding out. Hi, Cal. Thanks for joining. So, stories, amazing, brilliant. Okay, so let's check the list. Paper chains, done, snowflakes, angels, jingle bell stories. Okay, next, here we go. We have, um, I did put the roll of paper in, you know, the lining paper that you can get from like, Decorating stores, um, IKEA do rolls, um, probably you can get into like your discount stores and they sell it down now. A couple of quid for a roll, fantastic because again, you'll you will have seen on my spelling squiggle video. Um, get it rolled out, especially like at holiday time now. Our hall's quite long, um, or use your table and get the paper rolled out, just give the kids some pens or colours and get them drawing, writing Christmas words, write me a short Christmas story, can you do a Christmas acrostic poem, those who don't know acrostic poems, so you write a word down the side, for example Christmas, and then for each letter of the word, so C, they would do something beginning with C, so Christmas, um, down the side, so C could be, um, in fact let's do it, let's show you, let's show you, because this is a fun one to do, my nephews were doing this the other day. Um, they've been isolating. So they were doing um, Christmas across the poems. Um, in fact, let me show you one. So we have, oh, that's no good, is it? Come again. Oh, I'm a rubbish teacher. Find a pen that works, Mrs. B. Let's go, Santa. So this is an acrostic poem. Okay, so you have the word like that. And again, that can just be done on the paper, the kids will love doing all sorts on there. I just used to stick it down and leave it out for like a week at a time and then um, they'd soon fill it, they'd just come and sit for five minutes and have a little doodle and then we put the tablecloth over it so it's covered so you can see it. So S for Santa, I'm going to say S. Snow and Santa. Um, always watching. Nearly. Okay, so you get the idea of each letter in an acrostic poem then, um, we write a sentence or some words to go with. It can just be words, it can be a sentence. So that's a really nice activity for children of all ages. If you've got little ones that are just learning to write, then perhaps they could give you the ideas of what they want you to write and you could write it for them. Um, okay, so, everybody's got one of these. Christmas stocking and if you haven't again I was thinking right what have people got along with the wrapping paper we've got lots of these haven't we gift bags I know I keep a box full um in fact Christmas ones we've got that many we keep them in a huge Christmas bag and they go up and down the loft every year rather than having them lying around the house the Christmas bags go up the loft um, and come back out for Christmas time so what we're going to do with this is 
again, Christmas stocking or Christmas bag. So the idea that we had when we were chatting this morning, um, myself and Emma, was that you go around the house and you go on a Christmas hunt. Now, you can time it to make it more of a competitive game or it can just be a Christmas hunt. Go around the house and look for things that begin with certain letters. Now, rather than just saying any random letter, we decided that what we would think about is the word Christmas. And we're going to go around the house and look for things that begin with the C, a H, an R, an I, an S, are you with me? T, M, A and S, etc. So, we go around the house, we take the gift bag, or we take the Christmas stocking, and we go and find one item that begins with all of those letters, okay? And then pop them in the bag or the stocking, whichever one you wish. If you want to make it competitive, as we said, you could pitch against the clock. So you've got, say, five minutes, maybe ten minutes, to go and find one thing beginning with each of those letters, put them in your bag or your stocking, bring them back, let's see what you've got, let's talk about everything, you know, see what we've got, can you play another game, can you put them all back? in five minutes because that's the key isn't it we all know been there done it kids that don't tidy up after themselves so what we would say is you've now got five minutes to go and put everything back and whoever gets back here first is the winner um you could then challenge if you've got more than one child you could say okay your word is snowman your word is um turkey and you've got to go around the house and find things beginning with all those letters. Put them in that bag, put them in that stocking, whatever you've got, bring them back, empty them out, what have we got? But don't forget, yeah, that timer, the all important timer to go, right, there, you've got to go and put them all back. Um, otherwise we can't play another game, can we? Um, right, gift bag Christmas are done. Christmas I Spy, that's another one. That can be done obviously wherever. So if you're off out shopping to get the food shop or um, you're off delivering presents or cards to somebody, um, taking presents to the post office to send off to Santa. When you're out and about, if it's a walk, if you're in the car, Christmas I Spy. So I Spy with My Little Eye, how many things to do with Christmas? I Spy with My Little Eye, how many Christmas trees can you spot? I Spy with My Little Eye, how many houses with Christmas lights? I Spy with My Little Eye, how many Santas can we spot? So just looking for things, not sounds, not reading, just look for things because observation skills are really important as well, aren't they, to help us learn. And being aware of our surroundings as well, that's another good reason for playing a nice by just looking for things, not necessarily listening for sounds and finding words. Excuse me. Um, okay, right, one more I think to show you, Christmas alphabet. Here we go. Hi, Beck, and happy birthday, Rosa. Shout out to Rosa today. My friend's little girl is three today. Hi, Rosa. Happy birthday to you. Um, okay, so we have a couple of kit boards in our house. Put one somewhere. I can find it. There it is. And these are just dead cheap from um, discount stores. Right, so just a clipboard. board. Um, and the kids love it because they feel really important. I used to use these in the classroom as well and the children would have um, worksheets or paper and they would go around the classroom with their, um, what's it called? Clipboard, that's the one. Um, so they would go around the classroom with a clipboard. Um, we would have, quite funny actually, um, I haven't got any. So we used to have like plastic glass um, frames. Okay, so you could use sunglasses pop out the lenses so we used to have the coloured glasses now if Sarah's still watching Sarah Eva will remember this won't she um, they were our reading glasses and we used to keep them in a box in the corner so when the children would go to the story corner or the book corner to read they would fetch out their pair of plastic glasses glass frames neon colours they were lovely really bright um, and they'd put their reading glasses on and they would sit and they would read so we used to get the reading glasses when they had their um, clipboards go around the classroom with a clipboard and they'd spot you whatever would give them phonics worksheets they'd be doing phonics spotting um, and be a phonics detective and all sorts number detectives whatever but again they're just dead cheap so if you see some pick a couple up for i don't know about a pound maybe if that um i mean they're not brilliant they don't last great but if you know if you only use them now and again the kids love them and i always find that 
It's really good then for the kids to go around the house with their um, with their clipboard and they're going to do their Christmas alphabet spot. So here we go. Now again, online, there are so many worksheets and all kinds of uh, websites out there that have resources for Christmas time, which is fantastic. And um, I've been seeing a lot of this in home education groups, homeschooling groups at the minute, um, particularly, um, Am I allowed to say? I don't even know if I'm allowed to say. There's a particular website that a lot of schools use and I've used many, many times in the past and it is brilliant. Um, some of them have paid subscriptions. But you know what? You don't have to pay for things and you don't have to download resources. Make your own and that's part of the fun for the kids as well. So get them to get their sheet and you know it's all good letter practice too, isn't it? So literally get them to write out the alphabet. Because that's good practice too. I just I forgot what came after J when I had to check. Check it. L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Okay, so now we've got the alphabet. It's our own. It's just a sheet of paper that we've written the alphabet on. You don't need to print stuff. And the challenge now is go around the house and spot all the things Christmas. So it's not just spotting things beginning with those letters, it's things that are related to Christmas, okay? Now, you could go around the house and do some Christmas spotting. Another thing that we've done in the past, we won't be doing this year because we can't travel obviously, but if we're going on long journeys to see family over Christmas, we will often take a clipboard or a notebook in the car with things like this for the children, our girls, to um, join in. Hi Cal! Um, for the kids to join in and keep, just keep them entertained whilst we're on a long journey. Um, you can play the alphabet game, we always call it, so we could say things beginning with, but actually if we're driving around and they're spotting things to do with Christmas, when they spot something, write it on their list. So we might drive around and we might spot, I would imagine that an easy one that we're going to spot is a Christmas tree. Okay, so write it on your list when you've spotted it. Um, the opposite thing we could do with this is um, like a scavenger hunt list so again we've done this when we've been out on long journeys is that I would give the girls a clipboard or a notebook with a list of things to spot that way then it's not the writing practice is it which is, can be difficult in the car it's reading practice so they're looking for things again observation they're reading the words I've written they're constantly looking and they're aware so time passes doesn't it especially on a long journey so you could give them a list of Christmas things to spot and then they go around and tick them off when they find them so so many variations of, of games to play and things to do that are just really simple aren't they and keep them going now again if you've got more than one child and you've got children who are able to write um, lists like this themselves get them to challenge each other so do something for the other so one of them gives one a list of things to go and find while the other has a list of things to cross off um, get them you know giving each other challenges for the snow angels the paper chains etc um, Christmas alphabet that is it please 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 post any questions whilst I'm showing you these if anybody has anything they want to ask or anything else they'd like to share please let me know um, okay so last of all so I, I could literally sit here all afternoon talking to you but you know we've all got stuff to do haven't we um, but it's fine we can do that what was my last thing I want to do okay so this isn't exactly Christmas related it's not directly related to Christmas but I was thinking one idea that we've had for more video content in the new year I mean there's so much stuff we still need to cover and I'll be doing quite a bit over Christmas so don't forget to like subscribe and share the channel guys um, one thing that we really want to look at is like mindfulness and well-being and mental health all things considered for children especially this year because we've had such a tough year um, and it was actually my uh, Miss B, my little Miss B, Emma, who said um, can we do a video mummy that helps children when they're worried about like what we call big writer at, um, at our school um, or extended writing, creative writing where they have to write a long piece um, and I know from first hand experience as a teacher that children can get very um, worried and stressed and worked up about that kind of activity and that shouldn't happen <clears throat> our children should not be under that pressure um, but they are and 
it comes out in lots of different ways, doesn't it? Like, you know, anxiety and, and upset tummies and things for our children, which is horrible to see. And, and we have witnessed it firsthand as, as parents ourselves. Um, and I've witnessed it in a lot of children as a teacher. So that's definitely something we're going to work on in the new year. But one thing that I wanted to share with you today that we use in our house, and the reason I'm doing this, this is where the Christmas link comes in, is because routine changes at Christmas, doesn't it? You know, it's a very different time of year especially this year as we all know um, and children can get worked up they can get worried they can get overexcited and all these emotions are going round and they, they, they almost don't know how to deal with them do they we have to equip them with that and that's not an easy job as a parent um, I know again we know from first-hand experience so here's my thing we encourage our girls to talk um, I think it's far too easy sometimes for us just to you know, know that especially as our girls are getting a bit older that they, they do like to go and spend time in their rooms on their own. Um, yes, with screens, um, you know, our oldest Molly's a teen so she's on a lot of social media and stuff and doing things whatnot. what not. Um, they also know it's important to have time as a family. When we do, we try to talk. If we find it difficult to talk, we have emojis. Um, and we use these emoji cards we made ourselves so my thing to you guys today is if anybody is interested in these um, we would happily make some there would obviously be a small cost to cover our time and, and our um, resources that it takes to make these um, but if anybody is interested in a set of emoji cards to help children talk about emotions and kind of regulate themselves as I say particularly at this time of year then I will put a post here or drop me a message and let me know so this is how they work. Because there's such a lot of excitement going on at Christmas time, we have talking time, we get the emoji cards out, we've got some new ones that we want to add actually, so we've got one that represents tired. We've got one that represents angry, because sometimes we get really cross. What else have we got? This one is nervous, so if we're nervous for something. Worried or shocked, oh sorry, shocked or scared. So I don't know if you can see, we've got words written on them as well. Emma chose the words here herself. Um, happy or excited. Obviously, that's going to uh, show itself quite a lot the last the next week or so. Loved, loved or cared for, uh, frustrated. And as I say, we chose these emojis ourselves. We've got a sad emoji, or read, and all sorts. Oh, chilled. We like a chilled. Yeah, we like the chilled one. Um, confused. So it just they're just prompts to help us talk. And as I say, especially around this time of year now. Um, just really important to get your children talking so again if anybody was interested in any of those please let me know because it is important to talk get your children talking gets us talking as well sometimes isn't it I think that we're guilty of not talking enough to our children about how we feel video's gone off again um, so wow we've been on for quite a while haven't we at that I think we'll leave it and hope that you have got some good ideas of just some simple um, learning activities just Christmas fun to have you know and if you want to add that edge on with you you, you know you still smile and learn um, then use those words numbers counting etc just incorporate it in anything you do talk to your children have a fantastic time we know it's um, a very very strange Christmas for us all this year and um, lots of you know festivities that people would normally be taking part in cannot take part um, but I'd just like to say thank you to everybody for following the page for subscribing to the channel sharing the love if you do and you have um, you know it's really 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 such an amazing thing to see and here still keep hearing people tell me Oh, your channel's amazing. Even people that haven't got children, um, friends that I, I worked with yesterday were telling me that oh, it's, what, it's really great, you know, and, and I'm hearing so many good things about it. So please share the love. We want everybody to be able to learn and smile, smile and learn, have fun. I will be doing some content over Christmas. I will be also taking some family time, but I'm off work, so it's a great chance for me to get some content up on the channel. Please do subscribe and share the channel if you haven't. Um, we want it to get out to as many parents as possible for ideas and, and fun learning. So stay safe, everybody. I will no doubt do a little cheeky Christmas message. Oh, 
Emma and I are doing a Christmas quiz um, over the weekend, so that will be up on the channel as well at some point. Stay safe, take care, enjoy your loved ones, have a fabulous Christmas, and thank you everybody for all of your support. Smile and learn, subscribe and share. Thanks folks, take care, bye for now.